And hi folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. Let's have a nice delightful hot cup of coffee. Yes, I do have a speech impediment. Now, today we're going to talk about part four, last ditch foods, three months food supply, part four. This one because it's canned goods in a hard shell plastic tote, yellow on top, black on bottom. Canned goods, 10 cans of your choice. Okay, this is canned meals. Your choice of baked beans, stews, chicken a la king, curry, chili, chunky soups, ravioli, beefaroni, spaghettios, and spaghetti. Okay, now, nice thing about curry, I don't have an example. But the first one we have is baked beans. I get this size because you can feed more people. You can get smaller sizes depending how many people you have. Now I rigged this up for one person. So don't get 10 cans of baked beans. Mix and match. All right. So I get two or three cans of baked beans. All right. I'll probably get ranch-style beans, as with the sauce. You could add bacon, you could add meat to this, make it a little bit more filling. And you pour it next to rice or over noodles or something like that. These are canned meals, all right? Another favorite of mine is this one, hot dog chili sauce. Still fairly cheap. Basically, it's a chili sauce with no, no beans and no meat. All you have to do is add dehydrated meat or freeze-dried meat or canned ground beef and it becomes a chili. Unfortunately, I ate all my chili this week, so. <laughs> but still, this is pretty good and doesn't cost that much. Let's see what we got, no. Now, I have a point with Swanson's Chicken a la King. Chunky soups make a similar one for chicken, potatoes, creamy potatoes and chicken with carrots and peas and stuff. Exact same as Swanson's Chicken a la King. I'm not paying six bucks for Chicken a la King in a smaller can. Or I get a big can like this ready to go, heat it up and pour it over rice or noodles or biscuits. And I have Chicken a la King. All right, that's chunky chicken soup. Okay, you have stews, you have chicken a la king. Let's see if I have my stew can around here. Yeah, I probably ate it. Nope, I ate it. Damn it. I had a stew can. I had Del Monte stew and I ate it. <laughs> like I said, but you, you can put any kind of meal in a can. It could be ravioli. It could be beefaroni. It could be spaghettios. Spaghetti, anything. Curry comes in either pouches because uh, Alaskan Granny did one on the Indian curry in the pouches. Just heat and serve over rice. Trust me, they're a lot hotter than the traditional Korean and Japanese one that comes in a can or in a pouch. All right, and I have it listed here easy and you could add other things to it all right so we covered most of that and we covered see next thing i like to cover on make sure it's in a hard shell plastic tote yellow on top black on the bottom and you duplicate each case has 10 cans of your choice a mixture of this it'll be listed on the bottom of what you like to eat. Can cans. Pack it tight, as much cans as you can. It's a hard shell tote, yellow top, black bottoms, and you might add a couple of packing straps to it so the top doesn't fall off. Now I do warn people, don't get one can of everything. Nobody wants to eat 20 cans of baked beans. 
or 20 cans of beef stew or 20 cans of chicken a la king. Mix it up, have a little variety. And then duplicate each box for each month. So for one person, 10 cans should be enough. You might add and subtract things, okay? And then you add another box, that's another month. And then you finally have a third. So you have three boxes, that's 30 days, each box one month per person. So if you have more room in the box other than 10 cans, put some more cans in there. All right, don't make it one thing, mix and match. Now, in another box, you want to mix in fruit. And I tell people every time you do fruit, like fruit cocktail, you add a box of gelatin. If you have the means to chill this, this is a nice pastime for most people. Or people just eat home preserves and with jello. Not as hard, not a rocket science. Of course, if you're really desperate, you could add vegetables and jello. Not my idea dessert or salad or dinner menu, but it's been done before. And I read this recipe and it's like, dear Lord, what the people were thinking back in the 60s. Okay? So anyway, it's all up to you. Remember, 10 fruit of your choice, mix and match anything you like. 10 gelatin, 10 vegetables. I like beets because I make borscht. Okay? Fairly simple. It's not rocket science, folks. You put it in a hard shell case for easy transportation. So you got, let's see, this is part four. You got two suitcases and five boxes, or three boxes of rations. It's not hard. It doesn't take up much space. You can slip it underneath your bed. Not rocket science, folks. Okay, it's fairly simple. And I hope this helps out a lot of people. Remember, if you have more room in the tote, put other stuff in there. And I'll see you later. You have a nice day. There will be a part five that I have to explain more, a little bit more because people ask me crazy questions on food storage. And well, they have these little buckets for 30 days. I keep telling them, buy a bucket and eat one. And then they come back at me, that was the worst piece of garbage I spent $60 on. So be awake, use your skills, use your thinking up here. This is important. And I'll catch you later, folks. You have a nice day. Bye now. I'll see you later.